Christmas Eve news. Hello there, I'm another Magento Dev. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video with regards to the up and coming release of 2.4.2 and just maybe run run through some of the features and also so explain a question that you know from clients um, is the question of when to upgrade and, and when to just security patch and um, you know what pathway to take because Magento gives you a couple of options and I suppose the main there's two factors um, in answering that question and one is the client's budget because obviously an upgrade generally takes longer to apply uh, and test and de you know and debug um, than a patch. Um, also, the complexity of the store comes comes into it. If you if you're the developer of the store and you know that there's um, you know some weird shit in there, you've done some stuff that you think you know was never, I'm not talking about you've touched, touched car code because you should never have done that and it's your own fault and you deserve the upgrade to go wrong. Uh, but what I'm talking about is just stuff that it's not out of the box Magento upgrade. So you'd go down the security patch upgrade if you're just uncertain and obviously you'd explain that to the client as well. But conversely, if you haven't built the store, it might be worth telling the client that look, I'm not familiar with the code base. As a, we're going to put in the hours. We'd, we'd advise at this point we're putting the hours to do the upgrade. Uh, this is what I normally do: is we advise we're putting the hours to do the upgrade. If it starts failing catastrophically and a time black hole, and you're going to just just flush a load of hours down the toilet, um, trying to trying to get it working, um, you've always got the security patch to fall back on. So obviously, just make sure you back some stuff up. Always do comp run it through Composer. Always make sure if you can't run it through Composer because you haven't got access to certain repositories for modules and stuff like that, or get them details, get the correct details off the client before you, you know, before you upgrade, before you start unpacking zips of the upgraded file system and and piling it into your your Magento install. It's never going to go well in the future if you do that. Do everything through Composer. Um, and with that said, Composer two is now compatible uh, with a fresh install of two point four point two. Uh, so no more asking the server company to knock your composer down a version according to the uh, release notes um, also one of the main things to note that's been deprecated um, with the upgrade is the ability to configure Magento installations to use split databases so they're obviously removing that uh, for one reason or another that's gonna that's gonna hit some clients I think quite quite hard I reckon um, so in terms of the security updates, apparently there's 35 uh, updates. Uh, the headliners are that all core cookies and uh, now support the same site attribute. So the attribute that you set in your um, in your config file for new installs. Also, all CSP violations have now been fixed with the Magento core code. One of the performance enhancements that I found quite interesting says that um, this release includes code enhancements that boost the API performance, which is a good thing if you're into your PWAs, I reckon. Um, and the admin response time for deployments with large catalogs. Magento 2.4.2 to natively support complex catalogs up to 20 times larger than the previous releases. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Because, I don't know about you, but the majority of my clients that are on Magento, they're on Magento 2 because their catalogs are massive, uh, too big for a WooCommerce and they want something better than a Shopify. So um, I reckon that's gonna that's gonna be a good thing going forward. There's been 290 fixes of GitHub, GitHub issues um, for, that have been raised by community members. So that, that's a hell of a lot. So that, that's improvements on 2.4.1, I assume, uh, which is great. And uh, yeah, it, it includes over 280 new fixes to core code. So let's look forward to it. And when it comes out, I might do a little video on uh, upgrading maybe from a 2.40 2.41 um, and I might do it sort of um, unedited to see see what happens on on one of my stores that might be interesting okay